Guess how much I bought it for? One dollar! <laughs> Leaves and spider webs. I think this is a winner. Ding, 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 ding. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, but they left some money too. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Boy. oh there's a lot of money here. Oh, and there's a, there's a toenail. So gross. And look at all the tags here. 20 bucks, 18 bucks. This, this all, will all add up. Uh oh. <laughs> come on, come on, baby. Order alert is going off. Order alert. Ooh, what's inside though? Oh, this is heavy. Okay, we got some. Uh oh, what's that right there? That's some Pokemon. Oh my gosh. Oh my, 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 my. All right, Locker Nuts, are you ready? Are you ready for another adventure? I am, I am. All right, this is the next adventure right behind this door. This is a locker I bought yesterday at an auction. All right, and guess how much I bought it for? One dollar. Unbelievable, well, okay, it's not that great. All right, so you're gonna be like, oh yeah, that was a good deal, but it's like, I'm in such a great mood because yesterday I finished up going through all that Hummel collection, the Hummel collector locker. Great locker, great videos, I think there was. And yesterday we went to an auction. It was a busy day. I was up late working, but I'm ready for today. Well, actually it's like noon, okay? It's noon, it's about 90 degrees because I was editing all morning. And uh, yeah, it's gonna still get a little bit hotter here, but it's all right. I've got the sleeveless tank and I got lots of water and ice. I'm ready, are you ready? Let's go. Oh, yeah. All right, this is a little guy here. Yeah. Got a little dust raining down. Yeah, it looks kind of junky to be honest with you, but check this out. Leaves and spider webs. That has been the theme for me lately. I've been hitting so many with leaves and spider webs. I love leaves and spider webs. Looks like we got a Victoria's Secret bag right here. And what else do we see that I like? Honestly, like what I liked about this locker is the price. Nobody wanted it, I got it for a buck. And uh, I'm willing to take a chance for a buck, right? Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you buy this for a buck? Oh, stop presses right here. That looks like a coach bag. <laughs> I didn't even see that, it was hiding. I'm not very good at spotting stuff. And this looks like a jewelry box, kinda. A display case or something um, yeah I'm not so good at this, uh, seeing stuff always sometimes I can see things sometimes I can't sometimes they're obvious and I miss right over them like that for example I don't see any furniture but sometimes in these types of units this furniture gets buried very easily very quickly but yeah, you can kind of see an empty hole down there I don't see any furniture I see all boxes and boxes mean potential and potential means excitement right that's exciting I'm excited are you guys excited okay I don't know what else to say about it other than let's dig in in okay and when jack says dig in what i really mean is get my chest harness on so i have both hands free okay as you see right here i've got my trailer with me today it's funny some of you say like oh you need to get a trailer you need to you need to get a trailer to help you move stuff i have a trailer i've had one for years and i love this thing but i don't drag it up unless i really need it and today i want to clean this out you think i can get all this on the trailer and truck we'll see we'll see it might get divided up if I go to the dump or charity drop off. We'll see. We'll see. I see some good stuff in here though. So let me get these cans and bins ready so we can start processing. All right, you guys, I'm kind of chuckling because this, this actually took me a few minutes to set up. <laughs> I came prepared though. This is probably the first time I've ever used a canopy. Maybe second time. I don't know, but I got bins, boxes, plenty of garbage cans and a table Ew, and even brooms. Oh my goodness. What's wrong with me? I'm actually on top of my game today. All right. And that means we're going to start digging in. But first, I even brought some gloves. I know that's not like me usually, but actually I always have gloves in the car. I just don't wear them because I don't like to. Uh, but this one, at least by the doorway, looks extremely dusty. And I don't want to get my hands... Uh, that's unfortunate. I don't want to get my hands like super dirty right out the gate. Okay, gloved up and ready. Boom, chicka, boom. Let's go. Okay. Let's start... <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, putty. All right, they had kids, obviously. I'm gonna be a little liberal about throwing things away in the front right here, just because it's so dirty. Oh, this I thought maybe jewelry, but now I'm seeing makeup organizer. Okay. Oh, this is junky. Junky, junky, junky. A little container, I don't know. And some bows. 
Really gross towels. Really dirty bag. Okay, there's a little bigger box here. And it's for the older iPhone and iPod connectors. So that's gonna limit the value. It's a Memorex, but we'll take it to the market. Winnie the Pooh, pretty pathetic looking one. Your box is empty though. Hello Kitty Plush. I'm gonna get some tape and stuff in here. Oh, some cards. Mm, another jewelry box maybe. Come on. Oh, fine silver plated. Okay, it's silver plated, but that's still silver. Found silver, guys, found silver. We barely started and we're already finding silver. And some gift bags. Okay, let's see what let's see what this is about. It's a little dusty on the bottom, but the rest of it kind of got spared, and that's good. Let's see. Ooh, we got some sunglasses. What do we got? What do we got? They're really dirty. Chico's is kind of ah, they're cracked right there. Okay, well the inside looks very clean. The label looks right to me. It's got the serial number on it. I think this is a winner. Ding 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 ding. Winner winner chicken dinner. No money. Part of a watch right there. China, it says, okay. Okay, and a lot more cosmetics in here. Probably fell out of that cosmetic organizer. Okay, Ooh, this one's a little dusty. Luckily, it's in the plastic because that blanket looks pretty much spared. It's getting the flea market load going. Man, this one, mm -mm. this one might be a little too, mm -mm. Uh -uh. not doing that. Here's the lock from when they cut it. Don't need that anymore. Look at this thing, it's totally bent up. Memory board, it says. Huh. Happy 22nd birthday. All right. I think we're going to give that back to the owners. Look at this. Got a Mac bag. Empty boxes. All right, those bags are good for the market. Oh, this is kind of good. Look at this. This is a VHS and DVD player, and it's a recorder. See that? It says record right there. This is actually probably going to be worse than money right here. These are still sought after a bit. A little bit dented down there. They had something heavy on there. And, of course, it's dusty as all get out, but still... Those have some value, usually typically around like somewhere between 60 and 100 bucks, maybe a little bit more depending on the model. That's a good eBay seller. Bunch of wrapping paper. Got some crutches here. <laughs> I tell you, probably what I should do with these is put them aside and start making a recycling barrel somewhere and put all the aluminum in there. Good amount of aluminum. Yeah, all right, what do we got here? Some DVDs. All right, a little horror theme going on here. Let me get some paperwork. All right, art supplies. A little mirror. All right, oh man, just that right now we got a few more things cleared out and I just noticed there's some furniture. Boo, boo, but I see something below it. Oh, what's that? I think that might be a Sony PlayStation. Oh, yeah, I think it is, and I see some games in there too. All right, all right, things are looking up. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, a little bit of clothes. All right, I think these are kids, like for a boy or something. There's Izod. A little bit more, Lacoste. Okay, that's funny. Clayton Kershaw. Oh, this is a, it's a bobblehead, isn't it? Yep, little bobblehead. That's cool. We'll put that aside. That's something a little bit better. Okay, some towels. That's always good for the flea market. They love them at the flea market. There's a little flashlight. Mini mag light. Okay, it's pink. I bet you one of my girls will want that. Looks like it's been in here while the batteries popped in there, but a pretty decent little flashlight. Cool. For a few bucks. What else we got in here? Luminescence, potpourri, potpourri. Got some books. Oh, and then right here we got some decent stuff. Look at this, color care conditioner, matrix. I think that's good stuff. Conditioning balm, 
cream conditioner. Well, since I cut my hair off, I don't use any conditioner in here anymore. There's a color care shampoo. I think this is decent stuff. That one's almost empty. Dark tropical oil, hydrogen peroxide, and aloe vera sunburn soother. That's some good stuff right there. Next box, let's go. What do we got? We got a little TV. Okay, that ain't nothing. Next box. Jeez. The drink container. Does that go that? That's kind of funny. Tur router. Pelkin. Okay, made in China. Alright, that's a little bit of crystal, I think. Nothing too crazy here, though, guys. What is this? Dollhouse. It's full of corn. Oh, what's that for? Next box. Ooh, that's really dirty in there. It's gross. Looks like a spider's den. I got gloves on, so I'm not scared. But we got some purses here. And, oh yeah, we like to find purses. Even if they're a little dusty. Even if they're a little crusty. But don't really like them with the stuff sticking to the inside. That's not usually how we like it. Look at that. They left like candies or something in here. Oh, but they left some money too. Oh, we've got some money. We got some money. Sticky money. Boy. Oh, there's a lot of money here. Heck yeah, I'm going to keep shaking that. Okay, this is made in China. It's bag, and I'd say eh, it's probably done, but we'll let the flea market decide. Even the money's really dirty. Still good for me, though. Yeah. Next purse. Mm, it's another cheap, cheap, cheap non-leather material. That's not a good sign. Made in China, Daisy Fuentes. Okay. All right, another flea market. All right, graduation cap. Yeah, these are hard sellers. I'll tell you that much. Is this something better? Let's see. Gia Milani? Gia Milani? Let's see if we can shake it out. No. Oh yeah, right here. Gia Milani. I don't think that's anything, but I don't know. Inside's got some stains in it. It's not like super great, but I'm going to put that aside. And, yeah, see, I got some bins down here. See, that's how I roll. Uh, I'll put that aside. We'll bring it home and have Gianna look at it. Maybe I'll look it up. I don't think that's worth anything, but I don't really know, guys. That's why I take it home to be safe. You take it to the flea market. There's no go back on that. Take it home. If it doesn't work out, I just bring it to the flea market. Ooh. Purses full of money. That's 12 cents in there. That's 12% of my investment on this locker. <laughs> That's so funny. This one's nine. Nine in company. Ooh. Oh, this sounds this sounds yummy. Yummy yummy for my tummy. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, this just always amazes me. So awesome. And with this fell out earlier, I didn't even look at it. Let's see what we got. Any goodies for Jack? No. Still got the tag though. Mac Hive. Mac Hive? I just tripled my investment right here. This is a 300% ROI already. Oh, there's a bag down there. Don't lose that. Ooh, okay. New with tags. $36. <laughs> it's not like what we're used to. We've been so spoiled. We've been finding these amazing, amazing lockers lately. And $36 is nothing. That Those pieces are like $360 and up. Still a nice purse though, but I think that's going to flea market. Grippy cookie cutter. It's better than a drippy cookie cutter. <laughs> Dad jokes. <laughs> Sag Harbor. Is that good? I don't know. It looks kind of decent, but kind of not really. I'm going to take it home. I'll, I'll take it home and look it up. This one does not look decent to me. It doesn't doesn't feel real leather. H&M. Okay, flea market. Oh, well, isn't that cute? Little cat. Cat purse. I bet Camille would like that. See, I do think of my family when I'm going through these. I do. But when I bring them home and say, hey, you want that? They're like, mm, no, Dad, no. At least I try. All right, gloves are coming off. Slow me down. Candies. Oh, this one's coming apart right here. That's too bad because that was kind of neat with the chain. That feels heavy. There's something in here, though. 
What's in here? I'm really careful because it's like, please don't be a bunch of needles or something. No, it's not. It's money. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Come on. Raining that money down. Yeah. Oh, and there's a there's a toenail. <laughs> So gross. Here comes that ROI. Cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. Yeah. Another purse. Can we just stop for a minute and say, for a dollar, guys. For a dollar, come on. That's a good deal, right? And there's a penny. And this one is apartment nine. I mean, it's APT nine. I think that's apartment nine. Volcon, okay. And this one's pretty thrashed. There's like a lot of pet hair inside too. See all that? Maybe it's her hair. I don't know. It's gross. Flea market. Another purse. Marona. Okay, Target I think. And here's a little leather one. Okay. A dime. Nine and Company again. Has this one got some life left in it? I think it does. It needs to be clean, but... I'll put it aside. Oh, what's this? No, okay. I thought that was coach for one heat-induced hazy second. Not a bad box, not a bad box. Ooh, ooh, what do we got here? Uh, nothing. 10 karat gold, blue toe. <coughs> ooh, uh, this dust is getting to me. 10 karat gold, though. What it was, that's what it was. It gets in here. Now I'm intrigued. Shower gel. Ooh. I almost forgot about this. Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> oh, it is Care Bears though. Roller Boogie. Nice. Okay. Ooh, Nordstrom boxes. I know Jana likes that. Oh, wow. Look at this. Brand new towels. Hotel collection. Hotel collection is very good. Very good stuff. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Those are coming home with me. Now, I know I don't know if I'll be able to use these at home because the last bunch of towels I brought home, Jana said, mm-mm, but these are brand new. They got tags. We might just be able to get these into the closet. <laughs> another one, another one, another chance, another chance. Got a mirror. That's Christmas ornament. It's awfully random. Merry Christmas. Let's see if we got any money for Christmas. That's a nice card. Somebody spent some money on a card, but the gift stopped there. Uh, okay. Huh. Alright, this one says save Sarah's for storage. There's a Britney Spears calendar. That's funny. This is in the news lately. Oh, I see uh, some more money. That's a good sign. And I see a bunch of yearbooks and stuff in here, so we might just give this back to the office so they can get it back to the, uh, the owner. Yeah. Oh, jeans, good. Whoa, that is a funky mess right here. I hope I don't pick any black widows up. Yeah, that's no fun. Okay, what do we got here? American Eagle. Truck jeans, made in the USA. Oh, what are these? Miss me. Those look kind of fancy. Well, this could be something. I'm gonna put all the jeans in this bin right here and take them home. Not that we don't have enough clothes at home. We got stinking horde of clothes. Here's Hollister, nothing too great, but they are jeans. Jeans do sell better. Anchor Blue, this is nothing like super great. I'll let Jana go through them. Hollister, Hollister's decent brands, just not big, big value, but I mean, really, I'd prefer some Levi's and that might be what we got here. Nope, Hollister. Another Hollister. Hollister, she really liked Hollister. Okay, Massimo, Massimo, Champion, Massimo, a lot of Massimo, and this is not like the cool Massimo, like we found this Massimo sunglasses not that long ago, they were vintage, made in Italy, this is like the Target Massimo, which is like not even the same Massimo, there's some Hollister jeans, Hollister stretch and Hollister, wow it's been so long since I've done Hollister jeans, just kidding. Okay. A lot more clothes in here, but it's not like high-end stuff. If it were, we take it home and lot it up, put it in our auction, but uh, yeah. American Eagle Outfitters, some more good stuff, but not high-end. High 
This stuff here is just all, oh, there's something with the tags now. Okay, got some shorts with tags, Mossimo, awesome 15 bucks. Tags, 20 bucks. Maybe I'll put those aside. Why? Because they have tags, no other reason why. <laughs> That's the only reason why. I ah, wish my girls would go through this stuff. This is probably some decent clothes though. That looks very cool for summer. If I see any more tags in here, I'll pull those out because I'll tell you what, they'll be pulling them out the flea market. They'll pull those tag things out right away. Another really funky box here. That's gross. Ugh. I mean, look at that dirt, man. That's just gross. Dang, it kind of sucks too because it's right on the undies here. Undies are a good seller on this secondary market. Nothing a little load in the washing machine one to fix. It's another tag piece, 13 bucks. Not a big ticket, but I'm going to put it aside because you know what? It's still brand new merchandise. Okay, here's something. Gilligan and O'Malley. No price. Some kind of undies or something. We'll put that aside. Swimsuits. Quite a few. This is brand new right here. Brand new. It's another piece. Brand new. Wait, but zero dollars. <laughs> what? How is that possible? How do they stay in business? Josie Notori. Oh, for Target. Yeah, this gal shopped at Target a lot. Look at this though. Look at all the swimsuits. $34.99 on this one. What the heck? It's that small. Um, you know, I'm gonna put these swimsuits aside and look at all the tags here. 20 bucks, 18 bucks. This this all will all add up. It's too good for the flea market. And all these 90s and stuff, I am gonna put them aside. Even if they're not high end, I'm just gonna bring them home and have Jana look at them. Like I said, they do sell well in the secondary market, so maybe we'll do a lot of them. Okay, we're getting down the bottom of it here. That was loose in the bag, and I already found a little piece of a watch somewhere. It said it was Smarks China on it, so I didn't think it was anything that good. But this, I'm gonna put that aside just because maybe we find a watch that's been sized down. All right, guys, I swept here. I just don't like walking over spider webs and stuff. And it feels good. It feels good. I just like it. It's a little OCD part of me. Well, let's see what we got here. This is a little bit cleaner. Let me get these gloves off because I hate gloves. Okay, graduation cap and robe and all that kind of stuff. That's all right. I mean, it won't sell. It'll, it'll, it probably won't even go at the, uh oh. <laughs> Come on. Come on, baby. This is what we like. These are the things that we like to find. Oh, a little Office Mac. 2011, though. It's a little old. A lot of paperwork. I'm not going to show the paperwork here. This is legal paperwork. It's actually a trust. It's like a family trust that they had set up. I'm going to return that uh, because I don't. I can't imagine that they need it. The lawyer will have a copy, but it's always good to have. So I'm going to put that in there. Hopefully, it makes it way back to them. Okay, with this, there's some weight to it, but I'd say it's not enough for a laptop to be in there. No, okay. Uh, there's that. Uh, there's the power cord. I don't know. These boxes sometimes can sell at the market. Usually only the newer ones. The bag is heck of cool, though. Every person that walks up to the booth is going to open that, though, looking for the laptop. Like, yeah, I'd really leave the laptop in there. Another yearbook, 2010. Another yearbook, 2009. Okay, shoebox. I like shoeboxes. We do find lots of interesting stuff in shoeboxes sometimes. Okay, shoes. <laughs> That's not what I was talking about. We kind of expect to find shoes, but Nina, huh? New York. Jacqueline Ferrar. What do we got here? No money. We are looking for money, guys. It does happen. People leave money in gift cards. Not often, but often enough to make it worthwhile searching. Nope, not this time. Oh, we got another shoe box in here. Yeah, another chain. Let's see what we got. Oh, more cards. What's this? Oh, these are brand new cards. Oh, and that's a happy Valentine's Day card. Ooh, $3 on that one. $2.79 on this one. Okay, still, that's like that's like money. Some cards up with words of 5 or $6. I say this all the time in the videos. $4 on that one. And yeah, look at this. Brand new cards. All of them. Right? No. All right, there's some used ones in here too. Let me flip through them real quick and pull out what's new. We'll put those aside and we'll put them in our auction. And the used ones, we'll search for gift cards. My love for you is a beautiful and natural thing. <laughs> it sounds a lot nicer than having a piece of the hot. Oh my goodness, that is so silly. 
Mm, okay, paper and folders. Okay, that'll sell. Back to school's coming up. That will sell. All right, next box. And look, we're getting floor space opened up here. It's almost like we're halfway through. No, we're not. We're not even a quarter or a third. <laughs> no. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is nice. Aeropostal, $99.50. That's a really nice jacket. Too bad it's not winter time, because we would sell that uh, very easily. I think we'll still sell it just because it's tagged. Someone will buy it and want to flip it at the market. There's exhilaration again. Oh my gosh. Guys, oh, this is, this is really good. Oh my, 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 Look at that. It's almost all quarters. I mean, there's more quarters than anything else in there for sure. That is fantastic. Oh, that's like six or seven pounds of change right there. Yes, you know, I'm happy. Um, hopper, 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 hopper. And I think this right here and the other stuff we found, this is going to top us off for our coin star video. We're going to have to do that soon because my big five gallon jug is pretty much full all right that's going straight home it's got to be 50 bucks at least at least 50 bucks right there yes because it's quarters if it's pennies and nickels more it would be you know maybe 50 bucks but i'm saying at least 50 bucks and how much did i get this for oh just so one dollar <laughs> okay this jacket though hmm it hope it's still 100 bucks i almost don't want to bring that to the market it's almost too good for the market it's almost too good. Maybe I'm crazy and I put it in here and wait till winter and put in our live auction. And if guys, if you've heard me say live auction a couple times in this video, cause I know I have, and you're like, what are you even talking about? Well, we do live auctions on our YouTube channel. It's every Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific. I know this sounds like a little advertisement. Well, it kind of is. I say it every video, or at least I try to remember to. Yeah, that's where we sell some of the best stuff, all right? Not this stuff. This stuff's going to the flea market. But best stuff, meaning the stuff that I put aside under the table, that's the better stuff that's gonna go home. Some of it gets listed on eBay. Most of it gets sold in our live auction. All right, and that's really what we're after. We're after the better stuff. That's where we make a profit. That's where we provide for our family, really. Is off the better stuff. The low end stuff is not big profit center. Flea market is just a means to an end. Make it all go away. Here we got some towels. What's this? Uh, oh, this is an interesting box. Low notes. Yeah, I usually like these kinds of boxes because they're just so random. You just don't know what you're going to find. Movie stubs. No, like little pieces of gold jewelry or anything. They got forgotten about or $100 bills or $2 bills or any kind of bills, just not utility bills. More towels, these are good towels too, they're good enough. They get you dry. Oh, there's a large drying towel. Oh heck yeah, for your car? Nice, put that aside. Hoarder, hoarder, hoarder alert is going off. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Hoarder alert, microfiber glass towel. Okay, we'll put that aside. We don't clean the glass with it necessarily, but we do clean uh, just about everything else. I clean a lot of stuff with, with microfibers. There's a very, very dirty makeup bag. And yes, there's a chance there's some jewelry in there, but no, I'm not taking that chance. I'm gonna pass that right off to the flea market there. They can have that for cheap, and you're welcome. Mm-hmm, next box. Hey, look, at, look at the spider webs in here. No one's been in here for a while. All right, we got cookbooks. Uh, geez. We got so many cookbooks at home right now. It is insane. Really, we have a ton. Because that last locker, the Hummel locker, I found like bigger boxes in this and seriously like five or six boxes of cookbooks. It's insane. All right, this is just all go to the flea market. Dusty. <laughs> police hat oh that's funny because we found a cop outfit a costume halloween thing not too long ago in the rich lady locker i don't know i just find that funny chamois leather cham pad polishes while drying without scratching that's kind of neat put that aside yes i'm a hoarder ladies and gentlemen welcome to my channel <laughs> Just kidding, I only have hoarder tendencies, you know, and usually I let them pass. There's some sheets. Usually it goes away in a couple hours. I come to my senses. I say, what was I thinking? And then I put it in the flea market box. Ooh, that's a nice cord. Look at that. Super thick ones. 
All right, there's a Victoria's Secret bag. Looks like some movies in there. What else we got in here? Junk mail. Okay, yeah, just making sure I don't miss anything. Back to the bag. Disturbia. It's there. Cost Plus World Market. What do we got? I suggest we drink before we go out drinking. It's pretty funny. Six dollars. And a lint roller. Britney Spears cutouts. That's funny. Dusty books. Oh, a series of unfortunate events. There we go. A box of unfortunate events. How funny. All right, it's got the whole series there. Uh -huh. Ooh. Mm -mm. Ornament. That's a nice little fan right there. From how heavy it is, I'd say that's probably a pretty strong motor. Hawaiian breeze, it says. Though we don't have electrical in there, I could hook it up. And... Yes, I'd be enjoying that right now. Whoops, almost threw that bag out, but look what's inside here. Oh yeah, baby, three cents. Some Easter baskets. Oh, what's this? Nothing, K Jewelers. Where's all the jewelry at? I find quite a few jewelry boxes. There's a bunch of bags for the flea market. We'll just put that right in the box with the flea market stuff, let them bag their own. It's kind of like pack and save. Closet. All right, well, clothes, like, that's what goes in the closet is clothes most of the time. Let's see if there's anything good in here. I don't see anything. Good flea market stuff, though. What's this? This looks like Aeropostal. No, it's Hollister. So, a lot of Hollister stuff. Sweatshirts, that'll sell. And yeah, look at this Planet Terror. Planet Terror. Never seen it. This thing is a really nice CD tower organizer, right? Looks like it's upside down, but you get the idea. It looks like some shelves go right here. Yeah, flea market. Okay, got a little porcelain nativity set there. Yeah, that's cool. That'll go to the market. All right, it's a little bag of stuff here. More potpourri cards. Man, this is just an odd box, though, and it's like some trash in here, too. Hmm, got some residual mirror J Wana. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is a Jones New York sweater, a little bit better, but it looks like it's kind of dirty. So you know what that means. To the market it will go. To the market it will go. Alright. Oh, this is heavy. Portable CD player. True tech. That's Kind of a no-name brand, I think. Yeah, this looks like a bunch of paper work. Anything better in here, though? Nope. The box says nope. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Mr. Hanky. It's Mr. Hanky, the Christmas poo. You love him and he loves you. 1998. That's kind of a neat find right there. <laughs> okay, I've got a bunch of VHS's. Not really seeing anything too good. I see a little bit of horror, but not. I don't think this is the cool horror. You know? No. Okay. A whole bag of bags. Yeah, because that's what I buy lockers for. I want to find bags of bags. Bags of bags. It's a very fancy dress. Another one. Volcom. It's a nice sweatshirt. Zip up. A little Aeropostal bag. It's got some stains on it. Ooh, what's inside though? Oh, this is heavy. That's heavy. Let's take a look in that. First, let's look in this. Why? I don't know. Ooh, that's why we look right there. Quarter. <laughs> I get excited about it. Japan's. It's a flattening iron. I think one of my kids asked me for a flattening iron. I don't remember. I'm going to put it aside. Some nice poster board. Okay, some pillows. Stained up. Yuck. And we got some plush down the bottom here. Oh, but what's this? Okay, this is something better. This is a Disney snow globe. Snow white. And from what I can see, it looks like it's in very good condition. 
Snow White, Snow Globe, music box too, right? I don't know. Huh? In the mirror, speak. Let me see thy face. Yes, my queen. Magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? A lovely maid I see. Alas, she is more fair than me. That's heckin' cool. That's actually pretty dope. I'm gonna put that in the car. Anything Disney potentially has a little bit better value, but that's a neat piece. I like it. I do. I do. I approve. I'm easily impressed, but still, it did impress me. Okay, we got this wallet right here. Some stuff in it. Let's see what we got. I almost can feel some change, maybe. Okay, I can't show that. The ID. Okay, we got some... Uh-oh. What's that right there? That's some Pokemon. Woo-hoo-hoo. Let's get those out right away. Eevee, 1998, no, 1999. Jigglypuff, 1999. Imparas, 1999. And my seats. Fake American Express card. <laughs> oh, and we got four cents. Yes, I will take it. All right, guys, I think I'm going to stop right here. I'm obviously not stopping from this. I just got going after I set up all the tents and everything. Now, we've been going for a little bit. I think we're maybe halfway through. We might not be quite halfway, but I think we're approximately halfway. So let's cap it here. We'll pick up the next half, including that little PlayStation right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's start with that in the next episode. That container full of change, definitely a highlight for me. We do have some stuff put aside, a whole bunch of jeans, a couple purses. We got a little bit of stuff put aside, but really the change is the big value. I think we'll make a hundred bucks and change I think by the end of today yeah some video games ahead I do see a Christmas tree so I don't know who knows what's in here hopefully some good stuff oh right there it says records and media records are always good or usually good we're gonna have some fun in the next episode but until then good luck to you God bless you and we'll see you next time here on Z Locker Notes uh oh this one beanies and Barbies so beanie babies and Barbies I like how that sounds. Oh, it is Beanie Babies. Okay. All right. We've had these before. We've had them before.